Hey everybody, this is Aaron the Web Guy, and I'm here with Alexi Aaron. And uh, we are here for the Alexi Aaron podcast. And. And. And it is uh, officially been. Uh, I gotta check my pay stubs uh, and such, but I'm pretty. I well, pay you? Yes, it, it's all in chocolate and. Um, Alexi love dollars. Uh, Alexi love dollars. That's a, <laughs> it's a currency that it, it holds up surprisingly well to the ruble, but that's about it. Um, so uh, this is the official 15 year anniversary. Yes. No, it's the one year anniversary. That was a test. Oh, it's the 15th day. Yeah, it's, it's on October 15th. That was a test. Unfortunately, Lexi did not pass. And the reason why she might have not passed is... I was looking at the film. We were, we were we have a little bit of film as going on here, which, by the way, if you're a little, uh, if you're a little motion sensitive, don't worry. It's only going to get worse. No, <laughs> uh, I, I personally wasn't able to make this trip, but we had the red pen. Yes. And uh, you guys are hanging out in a graveyard. It, a, it's a local graveyard that is... I'm, I'm withholding the name because... Um, it Respect has, for the dead. Yes. It has some unsavory characters that like to go there at night. Or But yeah, it has a reputation of being haunted, and it's been proven to be haunted. Now, real quick, because it's going to happen before you know it, we are also, since we, uh, we may not be with you in Halloween, everyone's got plans for Halloween, but we like to do our little drinking... Halloween, which Lexi has mentioned. So we'd like to invite you all, uh, there'll be a subscription in the post above, to join us in the Lexi Aaron Drinking Game podcast, whatever we call it. Basically, whenever the red pen's fingers appear on screen, yes, that is the time to take a drink. We got our stuff here, right here. Yep. You can hear the noise. Uh, and we'll be taking a drink. The rule is when it appears, you know, you don't have to hold it for the amount of time it's there. Um, or uh, there's some parts here where there's going to actually be some audio. Uh, we're going to try to shut up during that other than our laughter at the ridiculous said. So anytime uh, fingers appear. Yes. And anytime... Uh, the, the red, red pen said something really stupid. Yes, or mentions... Uh, mentions Yeah, anytime that red pen breaks the mood, that's another one. Um, and <laughs> I think I think those are the basics, right? Yes. Or any time that I decide Alexi, uh, you know, just really needs to drink, um, I suppose. But feel free to join us in the fun. Um, so tell us tell us more about what's happening, pretty much in the footage here. Well, we just walked through a um, older part of the cemetery, where there are graves that have been there, approximately two hundred years, wow. um, and. Uh, I'm just, I, at the time, I'm just kind of upset because there's a lot of damage that wasn't there the prior year when we came to visit. Um, and that's what's going through my mind at this point. I am not feeling anything. Um, I don't uh, propose that I am sensitive, but on um, this particular outing, I did have something happen to me. Um, it's a beautiful graveyard. It, uh, you, you come upon it out of a forest, forested area, and as soon as you hit the graveyard, for me, it's always been sunny and beautiful and calm. Um, but there is a lot reported to oh. be here. Oh, time oh. to drink. Time to drink. Oh. Okay. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, there okay, we go that again. comes again. Gosh darn it. Mm. Okay. okay. <laughs> Those that are not tipplers, coffee um, is fine. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Please do not. Did, <laughs> please do not get alcohol poisoning. Mean from it came outside. back again. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. We call that pinky. Yeah, I didn't. This drinking may, the game may kill us, but you, you're saying that the sleeves don't count. Ah, oh, that's I another one. Know. Oh my Lord. It's still in frame, so we're okay. Yeah. Uh, that. Uh, oh jeez. Oh, it's just there. It's just there all the time. Maybe it's just the first like, time it shows up. Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a little fun. We, you know, honestly, we should have had a little bit of a smiley face on there. It's there for just too long. And there's like a whole hand now. We got to drink more. <laughs> <laughs> so it's what, four or five now? Oh, mm -hmm. my God. <laughs> poor, poor, poor. Yeah. Um, so anyway, you're at the graveyard. And uh, it's just it's a little sad because it's a little more dilapidated than it was previously. Yeah, a little brief history in this graveyard. It was uh, built over an Indian graveyard. 
Um, isn't that cool? This looks like a tree. I love monuments. I know it's not the way now, but I love monuments. Um, it's just, I know, you know, there, there's, there's two ways to think about it is that, yeah, it's just a piece of stone getting in the way of cutting the lawn. A lot of people don't like to be buried. A lot of people think that the natural type of um, decomposing uh, coffin is the best way to go. We have a lot of people and we to bury them. I personally am in favor, I'm a, a being incinerated. Does that sound, is that right? Oh, cremated, 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 cremated. Cremated. Yes. And then I'd like my family. Ooh. What's coming up is this was this is reported to be the mouth to hell. This is a uh, old old building that they use as a shed, and when those doors are open from the distance, it looks like an open maw. Um, when we first drove through drove through here oh, a couple years ago, um, the red pen would not get out of the car at that point because it looked it really looked scary. Um, up up oh, oh, that's time. as a hand too. Mm. Not to be confused with uh, the Hellmouth from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay. Okay, because that distinction is it's the maw of hell, right? Mouth of hell. Mouth of hell. It will suck you in. But, There's actually a cave under there, too, but I'm more afraid of poison ivy than I am of spirits. <laughs> so I won't go down there. They can give you the itch. Yeah. Um, uh, she's also looking at flowers. So. She likes flowers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, ah, oh, there she gosh goes. Darn it. That's, I mean, we got to hold this one. That's that's two mm -hmm, fingers there. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that <laughs> we don't mean to be cruel to the red pen. We do love her. Um, but since she's the one that's always correcting me, I'm getting a little bit of me own back. Yeah. Yes, uh, absolutely. Oh, there's some audio coming up here. Okay. Please excuse the wind. You can hear the wind overtaking there, but you obviously the feeling of dread you were describing here. Yes, her. I when I came up against it, um, it was fit like a wall. It started in my stomach, and then it moved up into my chest, and um, it was pretty nasty. And here coming up, we got and change. <laughs> <laughs> Have a drink, folks. That's 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 definitely that's probably drink worthy. So yes, uh, change change we all can believe in, or just <laughs> coins, one or the other. We have a story about that after this next part. <laughs> It's a gate. Get ready. Drinking glasses. Yep, we're in the mood. <laughs> yeah, I was actually crying at that point. But the red pen. It is emotional. <laughs> <laughs> So really, so tell us, tell us about the change, because you had a recent thing in, uh, for change that happened. Yeah, um, I was reminded this last trip that we went on to, to visit Jake. We visited Jake, the, more on that a little later. Okay, and um, I 
as we were driving, we were stopping at rest stops. Um, I seem to frequent them often. Um, and I was walking back, and I noticed it felt like I had a coin in my shoe, which isn't unusual if you saw my closet. But uh, when we got to the hotel, there was, and I went to look for the coin in the shoe, there was nothing there. It was in my sock, which is basically impossible if you knew the way I do laundry. There's just no way that that coin would have ended up in there. So at that point, I was pondering, did it have something to do with the change we've seen over here in um, the graveyard? And then I started to remember um, after this having a penny drop at me. And, I, and at this point, I thought the kids were tossing pennies or, or playing jokes on me because they do like to scare me. Um, but I, I kind of wondered, for those that uh, do this more often, why would there be change left? Okay. Oh, uh, got to get, get ready again. <laughs> oh, yes. warning. What is she centering that on? Uh, that, yes, uh, she'll tell you. I can fly twice. Butterfly. 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 <laughs> I can fly twice as high. Reading Rambo. Right? <laughs> That's what I think of butterflies. Is that weird to me? No, butterflies signify eternal life in many um, cultures. So not LeVar Burton. Well, he's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you think of, you think a... of all physical stuff, I think of LeVar Burton <laughs> and reading Rainbow. Okay. But uh, the change. So the change basically in some cultures kind of signified... No, the, the butterfly. Oh, okay. oh you no. You better stop drinking. Um, the butterfly <laughs> uh, signifies in many cultures uh, eternal life or the change or the... Um, coming out, out of your cocoon, you know, going to heaven. If Metamorphosis. You believe in, yeah, if you okay. believe in that, if you, or reincarnation, um, uh, the Indians believe in it as being eternal life. Many. And, I, and you know what? I, I should have said Native Americans. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so well, I have to put money in the douche bank. Hey, hey, just, just to be clear, whenever we do the football picks, we say Washington at the New York Giants Stadium or something like that. Because no, the Giants Stadium at Washington. Well, what yes, are you but or drinking? no, but you can say wash. No, but we say the name the Washington team at the other thing. Yes, that's better. It's more clear. <laughs> it's it's more clear. Yes. There's that's clearer. Clearer. Okay, I read Pendy a little there. <laughs> <laughs> I have some words for you later. <laughs> oh, okay. Coming up here, we definitely have um, the unfortunate nature of grave. Or just cemeteries. Yes. See her monument trouble thing. Here's a name. Sarah. Something, yeah. There too, right there. See. All throughout here is is um pretty old graves. Uh these are the broken ones. So he's a broken one. It's where Someone sometimes these things frost gets in them, but the ones here that's the kids now. This is one of the kids' kids. Well, Sorry, I can't resist myself sometimes. It's unacceptable behavior. <laughs> this is our stern lecture brought to you by Lexi. That is unacceptable, unacceptable behavior, behavior. and there were consequences, yeah, in something old for. Kicking a gravestone over. Oh, oh yeah. okay. The one across the way over there. I think for the lecture, that's that's another shot. <laughs> well, this is kind of this area is even with that wave of of uh, bad feeling that I had, and that's what I was pointing out to the red pen. Um, I think it could be two things. One, it could be a natural occurrence, like there could be water running you know like a, a deep s stream of some kind or it's not far from the gate and people are coming to bury their loved ones maybe when they see the graveyard the enormity of what's happening hits them and it's their emotions that stay there well yeah, yeah um, i could see something like that that's what i was thinking but it hit me um i've only had this happen to me two other times once in the tower of london and once in a uh a mansion in North Carolina um, where it assaults my stomach much like Mike in my books um, in this case then it moved upward and then the whole emotion overtook me 
um, to the point of I was um, in tears. Is that but a mustache I, on that gravestone? I don't know what that was. Um, you can see, you can see uh, the red pen reflected in me. Oh wow! That, I gotta, you, I gotta you're go not on supposed. A diet. You're not supposed to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go on a diet. I don't reflect while in gravestones. You're not supposed to reflect at all. It's a vampiric name. Oh, sh. Oh, sh. Uh, sh. Ex ne on the vampires. Yes. I... Vampires. That's... Yeah, it's rye okay, whiskey, think... not blood. It's rye whiskey. Not... Okay, saying vampires, that's worth a drink. Mm. Problem with drinking games is I just get thirsty sometimes. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's my downfall. That's why I'm... And I have no tolerance. I did not inherit um, the Alexi writing... Um, Writers' tolerance to to the whiskey. Well, <laughs> writers have habits. One lens flare. Yeah. Michael Bay. No, no, Abrams. Did you say Abrams? Michael Again, the red pen collector corrects me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a shot. That's a shot. Drop the models in the desert. You can hear that Chicago wind. Okay, if, if I might have cut off the end there, but yes, that's what she said. Mm -hmm. There is numerous times uh, the red pen has a signaler gift for just saying something, and it's just you have to resist every urge to just not pop that out there or just or smack her. Or smack her. Um, because we don't believe in violence. It's not a good working atmosphere. Oh, but, okay. but the the character of Sid, the pedantic putz. Um, I love Sid. I love love my editor, but she is pedantic, and it does drive me nuts. <laughs> well, it's a matter of uh, you need you it, it uh, that I guess that kind of comes back to you know me drunkenly trying to ask another question. Um, when it comes down to it, you're obviously the writer, but how much do you feel um, from the very beginning you worked with the red pen as the editor? Do you, yes. feel, do you feel that's kind of changed? Not changed, but do you feel like? Uh, it's kind of um, has influenced your writing. She doesn't influence what I write because mm -hmm. when I write, I pretty much write with the flow. I'm not an outline writer, um, but she helps me um, to not repeat myself. She keeps track of characters, and um, because in the muse, sometimes an Ed is a Michael, um, and she she catches that, mm -hmm. which is fabulous. Because when I reread my work I some because of my uh, reading disability I actually am picking up on what I was thinking while I was writing it more than the words in front of me and without my editor um, I, I think that it would be a hard read um, she helps me find balance mm -hmm. keep my meter and backhand me. no she doesn't yes <laughs> no violence but she just when she uh when she walks uh in, into my office and stands there i think oh yeah, dang. Yeah, yeah. Here, here, <laughs> here comes here now comes another oh, conversation what did I do about now? this or that i didn't get away with this you know um well it's actually a scientific thing i know that uh when you're when you're editing your own stuff you your brain will the brain will will finish the sentence for you mm -hmm. or it will change something so you can't see it so it's it would you say it's pretty much impossible to truly 100 percent self-edit a book your own writing that is i there might be the rare person that can do that i'm not going to say anything's impossible because i've seen the impossible happen I don't know. there's impossible and sort of impossible sort of impossible um but for me, um, I do have that problem. I do go over my stuff over and over and over and over again. But you can't catch some things because no, you change it in your head. No, and then even the editor has gone over and over and over again. And sometimes we miss things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she has mentioned, which I feel is a compliment, that she gets involved in the story. And that's why she might miss things. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. If you can get your, red, your editor saying, Oh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Instead of, Oh... Why does she insist on putting a comma in the wrong space? You know. <laughs> yeah, well, getting invested in the story, uh, so that you know it, that can happen there. Well, I think that it's pretty amazing, um, just around the turnaround. One of the things that I was uh, uh, discussing uh, with the right pen and yourself is, or just just pretty much with anyone. And I think oh, we got another butterfly. That's a, that's a drink sighting. Oh, okay. Yeah, butterfly. staring at butterflies. <laughs> Red pen loves animals, but it's um what do you, how do you feel 
you are unusually prolific, which hopefully I'm saying that correctly right now, yeah, okay. when it comes in terms of writing um, and getting out books. For, for myself, when it comes to favorite authors um, that I've read, it's, it's always a year between segments. Or if it's George R. R. Martin, it's, you know, Whenever. half a decade. Yeah, you know, Some presidential kind of terms. Lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse, blue moons, before the next one gets out. Um, you write so quickly that uh, it, it's a matter of sometimes that even with the uh, the red pen working uh, pretty much around the clock, um, it's a matter of pushing out all these books. Uh, I do stack her. Not yeah. Now. I am overwriting her right now. Um, for me... Uh, I'm entertaining myself at the same time. So when I uh, get done with one book, um, I just I try not to write, but then it occurs to me, well, you know, what about this? You know, what are we doing here? And um, um, and I write it. You know, yeah. I just like it. But also, I, to defend, oh, do you see the shoes on top of those gravestones we're passing right now? Mm -hmm. Why? Friend. I'd like to know. Um... Why you would put shoes on top of these graves like that? Are they going walking? Or is that in case they go walking, they would have shoes on? As far as I know, any spirits uh, I've encountered, I've never seen any feet. So, um, I don't know what that is. When I saw the footage, I saw the name Durst. And I need to make sure it wasn't Fred Durst. Because that would have been twice as scary to me. Why? But, well, Fred Fred Durst of Limp Biscuit. Oh! Yes. Okay. That's a timely reference. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the guy who destroyed um, um, uh, Faith, because I gotta have Faith, George Michael. Oh. Uh, anyway, okay. Anywho, but yeah, I don't know why they do that. There's some usual unusual practices around here. Um, the shoes thing that that he got me. If anyone knows anything about that, please write know. in the comments because I'm I'm really curious about that. There was a few times when I was looking at the footage, being like, "What's going on this here?" This is this is a very unusual. Graveyard. It is a country graveyard. It is a private graveyard. Um, oh, we got something coming too. Yeah. So tell me, see the biggest monument right there? Oh. Wouldn't you rather have the biggest heart than the biggest monument? Yeah, that's what, me. Do you have to choose? No. I think you have both. Because maybe that it doesn't even mean that person necessarily chose it. It could have been people choosing it for them. So it's kind of hard to know. But it certainly does draw attention. <laughs> as, as we as, do. That's probably our drink right yeah. there. That's just silly. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. So do, do you it's need... A, by the way, it's that monument way in the distance that's to the right of the tall uh, tree there. Is that my car? <laughs> no, that's, that's my car. Oh, you took your Oh, car. about the car. Um, the ghosts here in this graveyard, the active one, regardless of whether or not you have electric, electric windows or not, will lower and raise your windows of your car. So you have to be kind of prepared for that. So like the electric gremlin from Gremlins 2? Could be. Could be. Okay. Could be. But she's, she's a kind spirit and, um, uh, you really, you know, but, but yet it does scare you. Little things like oh, that. Oh, this whole thing is spooky. Um, Look at that tree. I mean, come on. Yeah, we have that's some. That's a tree for a graveyard. That's uh, some pretty gnarly trees. Oh, there's that lens flare. The lens flare. <laughs> back to back to back to Michael Bay and JJ <laughs> Abrams. Uh, well, that's the thing. I was gonna say, have you seen any? What's uh, we 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 briefly discussed things. You actually watched the Poltergeist remake. Yes. We had a we had a post about uh that way back. Yes, you, I have. I actually saw that. And how was it? Um, I think the problem with it is that they use this the same idea or the same script. I did like the people in that and I liked what they tried Isn't to do. Isn't Sam Rockwell in it? Yeah, well Sam Rockwell's cool. I like Sam Rockwell. I like the people. I think the actors did a fine job. I think the little boy in it was outstanding. But you couldn't help by comparing it. Now if they would have gone like, you know, eight years later or something like that or maybe the same family moving a different family moving into the same neighborhood, something like that. Um, I just thought that um, it the it could have been better script wise, but the CG stuff was outstanding. The clowns, oh god! Oh, clowns! <laughs> yes. If you hate clowns, yeah. uh, let's cheers uh, to the cheers clowns. Cheers to clowns! Now we're just drinking for clowns. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Okay, so I was gonna say <coughs> that we're getting there's there comes more from that we have an official Peeps flask. Yes, we that do. Is, that's being poured from. Yes, and there and there is just alcohol all over my 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 wonderful uh, table tr- table here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you, you're gonna it's clean an it up. Anti- an- oh. Antique. <laughs> so <laughs> now, for everyone who has sat through our ramblings and the ramblings they are. Uh, we have uh, news. Big news. Big news. News of a large nature. That's oh. what she said, yes. Um, <laughs> and that is that uh, reconstitution. No, restitution. Res, uh, resignation was... Restitution. Oh, okay. Restitution. The 29th? 17th oh. um, full-length novel of the Haunted series is going to be released... Quite possibly the day after you view this. As soon as possible. We have, uh, we've quarantined the red pen. Yes. Uh, you, you ever seen, if you've ever seen Clockwork Orange, her eyes are open and we have, uh, we, we go in there and we use eyedropper. Yeah. To uh, keep her eyes, you know, there we go. So that way she's definitely going at it real hard. We just, uh, we, we caught something on the second one. We're like, oh, we got to look at this again, right? Actually, the red pen. I mean, excuse me, the beta reader... Um, looked at some areas and um, kind of bumped it back to her desk and she kind of corralled me um, and brought up some, he, I mean he's sharp, brought up some problems and so she's, she's running through the whole thing and we do really try to give you a professional um, book. Um, the reason why a lot of authors have, can't put out a book as fast as I is because they have to wait for the editors to, you know, and they're probably working on something else. Yeah. Where I have, you know, pretty much made an arrangement with my editor that she's available to me, you know, anytime I I finish, she's she's there and available. Um, so that's what she's doing now is she's scrubbing it. Um, uh, because there were, there were a couple of inconsistencies. I, again, I don't write from an outline, folks. I go from my heart and from my head and whatever is fed to me, whether it comes through the ether or my own whimsy, um, uh, that's how I write. It comes out, yeah. Yeah. So the thing about it is that, uh, so, but the point is, is that... It's coming it's out. It's coming. There's going to be a post for this, and we're going to let you guys know the second that the book is out. Uh, and uh, hopefully this weekend. Hey, I believe something I we t- I talked about. I actually had some influence in this one, didn't I? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Jake um, gets himself into difficulties, and um, the web guy here helped me write the story in which uh, Mia and Murphy go and rescue him. Oh, there we go. And I definitely did not rip off the thing. Uh, anything? No, I didn't. Oh. Oh, there insects! It is. Insects! That's okay. Kelly staring. Uh, uh, the red pen staring at bugs. I Wolfsies. thought that maybe she saw some. Oh yeah, that's oh, that is a creepy one. Yeah, that is definitely creepy. Um, and and actually, just pointing out here, the footage is going to end soon. We'll probably wrap up after that. But mm-hmm. this was the maw, right? Yes. Or the mouth, excuse mm-hmm. me. And what does this say here? Several times I look at this, is like, do not open. Yanks. 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 Now in yeah in Illinois. What? Why would... So I was standing underneath the tree and he was dropping nuts on me. <laughs> the immortal world. <laughs> of dropping nuts on me. That, um, was, that I, was a I squirrel. Tell you, that was no, a squirrel, right? Yeah, I was standing under the big tree and following the... Uh, I had stopped following the uh, red pen around and I got hit on the head. And I went, ah! You know, like, like, like a very professional writer would do. <laughs> and... And I was talking to, told the red pen about the, the nuts. Um, but anyway, the, uh, they don't want you to go in there. Um, it is just a shed, maybe. But I don't understand the Yanks part. Oh, Illinois oh I is can tell Yank, you. We're Yanks, Except keys, for, right? Practical? Well, um, <laughs> basically, Illinois, um, above Interstate 80, you could basically call Yanks and maybe, uh, dare I say the word, Demo- Democrats. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Blue state? I think we are blue. Yeah, sometimes. but 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 below Interstate 80, it is definitely Republican red state. Red state, sort of. So, so. maybe that's why they would call us Yanks. I don't. I, I, I don't know. I'm not so sure. I think it's funny how that goes. But Illinois primarily fought for um, the Union. Yeah, that's um, why I was confused by the but Yanks then ag- comment. Yeah, um, but then again, as the more you research the area that you're in, folks. 
you will find that when it came to that civil war, um, it split families. Oh yeah, absolutely. And 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 uh, the number one killer was absolutely not uh, bullets. It was, was infection. Yeah, it was. It was pretty much dysentery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and infection disease. It was having. Yes. yes. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was a lot of things. So on that cheerful note. Yes. I think it's good to kind of wrap up here. Uh, like we said, restitution. 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 See, I you know. Just... Restitution <laughs> is to pay uh, pay for something that you have done, or to receive something for something that has happened to you. Um, to uh, there's uh, basically the blurb of the book will explain uh, the areas I went to. It is a fun book. There are tons of revelations in it. Um, my beta reader kept opening up his mouth. You know, I was watching him for a while while I was reading um, with the surprises that are in there. Many surprises, many good things. Oh, okay. All right. Many good All right. things in there. And that's coming out as soon as possible. Uh, I was going to say, we, uh, honestly, we're going over the footage time, which I didn't think was possible. You're going to put pictures in there. Uh, uh, the picture is, yeah, if you mean a long static image, yes. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're at a deadline here. We're, we're, we're recording this on the uh, 13th. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're planning on getting this out to you ASAP, 15th, but latest, uh, for the anniversary. And so I think the, the wrap up kind of saying it's been one year of AlexiAaron.com since uh, I started the website. You know, we had some things working on it beforehand, but the official post, I believe, was the 14th. The only reason it was the 14th instead of the 15th is because I was like, I'm so eager, let's go. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's been a year and I just like to say thank you all for very much for visiting it because of you guys coming visiting the website it's helped grow uh, it's helped grow Lexi's uh, fan base and sure. the comments I appreciate the comments yeah, even too. the ones that are kind of hard to read um, I appreciate <laughs> them um, she's, she's making light of my comments because I, I don't make much sense sometimes I don't I don't I don't edit myself very well self editing yeah <laughs> self editing yeah but uh just thank you very much for sticking with us for a year. And Alexi is working hard. So not only is restitution coming out, also the one... the minute she uh, the minute the red pen fin finishes with restitution, um, she will be uh, going through the first edit of the Sinfin Lathan uh, fifth book. Ah, there we go. Which is a crazy book. Um, it's uh, it's basically uh, unforgivable sin and opera in three acts. It is comedy, it is tragedy, and be prepared, there are major changes in that So book. pretty much all the stage faces, you know, you see for the theater? Yes, comedy and tragedy. Comedy, okay, I guess there's only two. Pathos and ethos. Wait. Wait. Well, one of them is death. I forget. So <laughs> the, the alcohol is working. I hope everyone has a wonderful buzz. Uh, any uh, uh, final uh, comments before we head out? I appreciate all of you, thank you for your comments. Thank you for the messages. Um, thank you for the pictures. Uh, I have so many people think uh, that have posted to the Facebook. Also, we are looking for uh, <clears throat> Deb um, footage from the readers. We will put you on the website. Um, just let us know. Yeah, uh, guest. Uh, I'm. I'm. Guest eager bloggers. We would work, love. I'm eager to work. Here's the thing. We like to get out. We like to get out posts as much as possible. But there's some weeks we're like. Uh, yeah, I'm writing. When I'm when <laughs> I'm writing. writing when I'm writing, they can't stop me. It's like, um, they ask me what I have. Can I write a post? What do I have to say? Um, I just kind of <laughs> look at them with dagger eyes and, 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 and they and you, leave. And you guys only put up so much with me rambling about. I like video games and the Bears, Chicago Bears. Go Bears. Go Bears. Although that was great, I was there at that game. But Why don't you talk about that? That'll be another post. That'll okay. be another post, and you'll get the first Bigfoot sighting of, of Jake. Of Jake, the infamous Jake. That that I can promise. I love it. I had to run up to him and take a surprise selfie, and it it did not go well. But you'll have an idea. <laughs> of an enigmatic Jake. Okay, we're way over time here. So from uh, LexiAaron.com. Aaron the web guy and Alexi Aaron. That, that's your name, isn't Happy it? Happy hauntings. Happy hauntings and uh, and have a merry day and thanks for being with us for one year. Hopefully many, 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 many more. Take care, y'all. <laughs>